Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode four in season 11. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. My name is Sonal Patel, and this is the Paint the Medical Picture podcast series. Now, let's get into today's episode. Today's Newsworthy features a new 2024 update on specimen collection fees and travel allowances. And in my trusty tip, I'm going to be diving into my compliance recommendations for the new evaluation and management add-on code 99459. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and close out today's episode with the remarkable quote on quality and quantity by Horace Mann. Let's dive in. So let's get into Newsworthy. CMS has a new 2024 update for specimen collection fees and travel allowance. Effective January 1st, reimbursement will increase to $8.83 per medically necessary laboratory technician drawn specimen from either a nursing home or home bound patient. The travel allowance mileage update for 2024 is $1.13 and is based on the most recent IRS standard mileage rate, as well as the published wage rate for a phlebotomist. Laboratories, laboratory technicians, and other providers billing Medicare administrative contractors, MAX, and their billing personnel need to be aware of these updates. The MAX will implement these changes by February 7th, 2024. Now let's get into some background. Medicare Part B pays a specimen collection fee and travel allowance when medically necessary for a laboratory technician to draw a specimen from either a nursing home patient or homebound patient under Section 1833H three of the Social Security Act. CMS bases payment for these services on the clinical laboratory fee schedule. Now, CMS is also clarifying that to be eligible for a specimen collection fee, that specimen must be number one, used to perform a clinical diagnostic laboratory test, paid under the clinical laboratory fee schedule regulations at 42 CFR 414.523. Number two, CMS will clarify that to be eligible for a specimen collection fee, the specimen, again, number two, must be collected by a trained technician from a Medicare patient who's homebound or is a non-hospital inpatient only when there aren't any qualified personnel available at the facility to collect the specimen. And finally, third, if that specimen is collected, that is a blood specimen through a venipuncture or a urine sample collected by catheterization. Now, a specimen collection fee is not payable for any other specimen types, including blood samples, where the cost of collecting the specimen is minimal, such as a throat culture or a routine capillary puncture for clotting or bleeding time. Now, CMS only allows one collection fee for each type of specimen for each patient encounter, regardless of the number of specimens drawn. If you draw different types or multiple specimens from one patient, CMS allows only one specimen collection fee. When you do a series of specimens to complete a test, for example, a glucose tolerance test, CMS treats the series as a single encounter. The trained technician must personally draw the specimen. Medicare does not allow a specimen collection fee to the visiting technician if, number one, the patient in a facility isn't confined to that facility, and number two, if the facility has personnel on duty that's qualified to perform the specimen collection. A patient does not need to be bedridden to be homebound. The phrase trained technician refers to those staff providing specimen collection services. However, trained technician does not mandate certain educational requirements. For the purposes of the specimen collection provisions, the terms includes a phlebotomist. And as a reminder, the HICPICS codes that describe specimen collection are as follows. CPT code 36415, which is for collection of venous blood by venipuncture. There's also HICPICS code G0471, which is for collection of venous blood by venipuncture or urine sample by catheterization from an individual in a skilled nursing facility, a SNF, or by a laboratory on behalf of a home health agency, 
and HHA. There's also HCPCS code P9612 for catheterization for collection of specimen, single patient, all places of service. And also HCPCS code P9615 for catheterization of collection of specimens, multiple patients. And finally, for travel allowance, the update that CMS will pay for a travel allowance when they pay a specimen collection fee. Travel for simple pickup of specimens or for specimen collection that does not require the services of trained technicians is not considered in the calculation of the travel allowance. This means that CMS pays the travel allowance amount only if a specimen collection fee is also payable. And now it's time for my best practice tips in trusty tip. Questions continue to come in for all of the new codes to use in 2024. Remember, as of January 1st, 2024, there are 230 new CPT codes and 345 new HCPCS codes. So let's focus on the one and only new evaluation and management code for 2024. And that is the add-on code 99459. CPT code 99459 is defined as pelvic examination. List separately in addition to code for primary procedure. Now the parenthetical note also states to use add-on code 99459 in conjunction with 99202, 99203, 99204, 99205, 99212, 99213, 99214, 99215, 99242, 99243, 99244, 99245, 99383, 99384, 99385, 99386, 99387, 99393, 99394, 99395, 99396, and finally 99397. Now, those codes I just disclosed, of course, are for the new and established office and other outpatient visits, as well as for office and other outpatient consultations, as well as for preventive medicine visits starting at ages 5 through 11 and all the way up to patients who are 65 years and older. Now, the national payment rate is captured for the additional practice expense of likely using the additional female personnel who accompanies the procedure. Now the examination as it's being performed. That national non-facility payment rate is captured at $22.27. And finally, I focus season 11 spark on quality versus quantity. I want this 11th season spark to be filled with our world's thought leaders, writers, artists, philosophers, everyone who inspires the need for better understanding of quality versus quantity. So in this week's inspiring quote in Spark is from Horace Mann. Education alone can conduct us to that enjoyment which is at once best in quality and infinite in quantity. Absolutely true, right? This quote reminds us that quality matters. This quote encourages us to continually seek quality education, to continually provide quality education. This quote reminds us that although there is an infinite quantity of education out there, it's our job to discern what is quality amongst all the quantity. I'm happy Horace Mann's spark still burns brightly in all of us today. So that wraps up today's episode. And as always, I appreciate you all diving into today with me. If you want more information from me, please go ahead and follow me on LinkedIn. I'll leave links to everything in the show notes below. Now, all right, you guys keep hopeful. There's so much on the horizon for you in 2024. I'm sure of it. Now, Remember to catch my LinkedIn Live broadcast with Betty Hovey on Friday for our fourth episode of Compliance Capers. It's also on my YouTube channel for Paint the Medical Picture. Now, I wish you guys all an amazing and very, very happy week ahead 
Thank you guys so much for listening in on today's episode. And I hope every week with me brings you closer to helping your providers paint a masterpiece. See you next Wednesday.